Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we've had a pretty crazy day over here really quickly. I had a tornado over here in Chicago. Uh, kind of a crazy thing, like right in my area, and there was like just bloody debris everywhere. Houses were kind of a little bit messed up, and I had no power all throughout today. So if you guys don't mind the fact there's a little bit of an late up upload, and as well on the fact that I didn't have another earlier upload in the day. I hope you guys really don't mind. I usually try my best to be very on top of my upload schedule. I only ever missed one day, and that was because of a YouTube glitch like a few weeks ago for like the past three years. So I usually try my best to take YouTube pretty seriously, and I'm not really a big fan of, well, if I ever miss news or coverage, I hope you guys understand. So let's go down to some pretty big news as of today, because as you guys do or do not know, the hot topic of the week has been on Xbox, where we we have the Microsoft acquisition of Activision Blizzard, and we kind of had a pretty big kind of court ruling as of yesterday in regards to the FTC. Now, as you guys do know, the FTC is a really big government body that's kind of watching over if it's like an antitrust or monopoly. And one of the bigger things to know is that the outside judge actually did go and rule that the FTC's counterpoint was actually like kind of unjust, and that in theory, they should be able to go and make this acquisition go through. But there's that's not the end of the story, because even more stuff has happened. In, and I'm going to give you guys some details on it. So make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as we go throughout the video. We have the how link down below in case you guys want to check it out. If you guys want to use the Amazon links, it is Prime Week, Days, or whatever. It's all linked down below. We also have the Twitter and Twitch stream down below too. And let's go dive into the video itself. So as I mentioned, if you guys have kind of missed it, the FTC did go and actually technically lose their side. How it works in legal court is basically like you, if you have like an outside, let's say you basically just cannot go and decide. Typically, it'll sometimes get an outside judge to go and rule on if it's constitutional or if it's approval or whatever it might be, and that's kind of okay. Like, that's fine. But whenever you kind of go and lose a court case, you can then go and appeal that same court case again. That's kind of why if you guys are ever curious in the Supreme Court, it's essentially like a bunch of balancing levels, and at the very, very tippy top of the legal standard is the Supreme Court. So basically, if all these things keep on getting appealed or they have enough money to keep on appealing it and they have a chance to go and have like somewhat of a sketchy gray area, then typically it'll keep on expanding and expanding and expanding until at some point it's like decided on if it's like constitutional or not. Once again, it's kind of just basic law. So right now the FTC actually lost, which did not mean 100% that this acquisition was going to go through, although it does make things a lot more complicated. But right now, it's only like maybe two hours ago or so, the FTC actually responded to the federal judge ruling, so all the stuff that happened yesterday, where the Microsoft Activision merger is a a clear threat to competition and the FTT FTC says it is disappointed with Judge Corley's ruling saying that the Microsoft Activision merger is a clear threat to competition in many various markets. So this is like a pretty big counter suit because initially the FTC kind of was like the first ones to be like, hold on a second here. This might be a little bit more sketchy than we all thought. We got to like, we look at this. And then obviously Microsoft's like, hey, we don't want to be in court for forever. We want to make this deal go through if we can. Let's go and well, make it happen. And now that's kind of basically what that next prior like judgment was. And now they're going to the next step or basically the FTC is trying to say like, no, 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 give this a second look. We're going to fight this in court. And don't forget the FTC is a pretty big government body too as well, which has a lot more extra merit towards all of this. So an FTC spokesperson gives a statement on the recent federal decision that effectively greenlit the Microsoft Activision merger in the United States. So yesterday, a federal judge denied the FTC's preliminary injunction request on the $68.7 billion Microsoft Activision vision merger, citing anti-competitive effects in multiple markets, which as you guys probably know, it's basically on cloud gaming, console gaming, and a few other various things such as mobile gaming, like a few more smaller things as well. The FTC sought to injunction the prohibit to two gaming firms from combining until after its phase three administrative proceedings have concluded. So basically, I think as of right now, they actually might have a chance to start the merger, as in like, which kind of makes the whole case a lot more complicated, because if they're already kind of like starting the merger, sharing financials and sharing employees, maybe even cutting employees too as well. Uh, that's kind of makes it like, it kind of starts intertwining the two companies. And in theory, it's not 100% confirmed and can still be basically broken up even as the companies are essentially merging on in. So let's go and say like in six months, for some odd reason, the FTC wins their court case and they cannot go and have this approval happen. That means that they could spend six months trying to intermix these companies and then it just goes and flops at the end of the day. So the FTC goes, got its way, both Microsoft Legal Counsel and Activision CEO Bobby Kotick indicated that the order would have effectively killed the merger and the FTC's administrative case could last multiple years and it was likely that Microsoft and Activision will walk away from the deal itself. So it's basically saying if this deal does not go through throughout this entire stuff, they're going to do a lot more bigger issues. 
Judge Corley denied the FTC's preliminary injunction request on the grounds that the commission was unable to properly or substantially prove that the anti-competitive effects of the merger would outweigh its benefits to consumers. Uh, basically trying to say like, yeah, like we are seeing the idea of this. Like we like, we like, I guess the concept, but basically consumers are not going to benefit. Like what kind of benefit are they going to be having to switch over to game pass right now? Game pass is a good deal, but some folks don't even have a subscription based plan. So you have a lot of these gamers who are now, if they want to get games or enjoy game pass, they might just pay spend extra money or maybe PlayStation gamers may not have a chance to go and play certain games. Once again, Xbox has gone on record stating that will not happen. But once again, you never know what happens in five, 10, 15, 30, 50, a hundred years from now, especially as people kind of rotate out. So sometimes it'd also be forward thinking as well. So absent the merger, I Division would not have immediately brought its games to Xbox Game Pass or the cloud. With the merger, games like Call of Duty will be brought to the service. Following its defeat after a five-day evidentiary hearing, the Federal Trade Commission has provided a statement to CNBC. In the statement, the FTC says that the Microsoft Activision merger is a clear threat to, competi to competition across the three outline markets, console, cloud, and subscription. We are disappointed in this outcome given the clear threat this merger poses to open competition in cloud gaming, subscription services, and consoles. In the coming days, we'll be announcing our next step to continue our fight to preserve competition and protect consumers, a spokesperson said. As well, like you can kind of see a lot of type of stuff too is that like, yeah, they think the FTC is going to be appealing this as much as they possibly can. The FTC does not seem like they're supporting the Xbox deal. And I'm going to try to be like, this is like my most, I'm not invested into this. Like I have a PC for Game Pass. I have a PS5 for Game Pass. I do a lot of like more PS5 kind of style gaming. But like in my mind, I do kind of feel like this is actually a bit of a big monopoly issue. Now, that's just me being honest. Now, do I care if it if it goes through and it goes in Game Pass? I'll actually probably be happy. I think as a consumer, I think I'm more happy if it's like going through. It'll probably save people money through Game Pass. It'll be nice. But the part to all this stuff is it is, in all honesty, you have to worry about like how this can maybe start shaping the future of the gaming markets, how it can maybe go and affect out different types of games, cloud gaming and innovation. But there is like actual, I would say, valid concerns, at least in my honest opinion. Now, like, am I against the acquisition? No, I'm cool with it if they want to go through. I, I got to trust Xbox. It might be something I miss, like I quote myself in 10 years from now and regret saying, but I think right now they're not doing the worst. So I could kind of trust them. Game Pass has a good idea. I wouldn't mind having more subscription-based plans, like having PlayStation games up here. I'm more of like a big binge gamer too so if i could somehow make all this stuff have playstation go and have games for like a 15 dollars game pass on their own service and i could save a bunch of money i'd probably play a lot more games and enjoy it too so i'm not anti game pass at all but it does seem like it's getting close to monopoly issues especially if they also invest a lot more money into their own xbox products and games but once again like i'm i'm okay with the deal like i'm not against it but it is something to be note of as well but most other government bodies don't seem to mind but also don't forget too there actually was a really big drama already before with the ftc and xbox where there even was a 20 million dollar settlement they had to pay over here for improperly storing xbox account data for kids and it does kind of seem like the ftc someone actually been on microsoft's well kind of so, like not really on their side it kind of seems like a lot of them have been kind of focusing a lot more when it comes to the well, Xbox side, they, and they want to make sure just legality and all these COPA laws are not being violated too as well, because they even have with Epic Games too on top of that. And it just kind of seems like there's a lot of big drama just going on over here just overall. And as well, that also kind of leads into the CMA, where Microsoft and the UK regulators agreed to pause their Activision battle to negotiate, which as well, if the FTC loses this, and the CMA also approves this, and they kind of go and back step out, there's actually also, once again, another huge, massive win for, well, Xbox and Microsoft, where, as we keep on seeing all this type of stuff, it just wouldn't make a lot of sense. Like, basically, the CMA, which is one of the other big government bodies against this, is approval of it, that's not that bad. So Microsoft did technically win against the FTC right this second, not 100%, but very likely, and now they're trying to go work with the CMA. So Microsoft and the UK's Competition Markets Authority have both agreed to pause their legal battle over the proposed Activision Blizzard acquisition in order to further negotiate. Microsoft has just won a separate ruling with the US federal court against the Federal Trade Commission, and the CMA is the last regulator preventing the Xbox maker from committing its deal to as well. So basically had a motion and move to block this proposed acquisition uh, April, and they're trying their best to make sure it all gets through as of now. So while well, they go and say our statement on the mutual request quest after today's court decision in the united states our focus now turns back to the uk while we ultimately disagree with the cma's concerns we are considering how the transaction might be modified and basically right now they're trying to say we can go and change up stuff all right now was that now the microsoft rights been say the court decisions makes crystal clear that this acquisition is good for both competition and consumers we're disappointed that the ftc is continuing to pursue what has become a demonstrably weak case so basically right now it's still up in the air things are going crazy and i hope you guys enjoy this video check on the how links down below and the amazon links for 
Prime Day stuff. You guys want to support me or the channel, all that stuff. As well, hopefully I'll have a, better, a few better videos tomorrow without actually having power. Thanks you guys follow the Twitter and Twitch, and I appreciate you guys all so much for watching here in the first place.